Gloucester City have turned things around. Seven games without a win and now four wins on the trot. The boys are firing just in time for their Europa match against Olympiacos. Hi there, welcome to Bustanet. These are the Gloucester City Diary saves uh, for the Game Football Manager. And yeah, I, I was a bit worried. I was getting a bit bored with uh, my 4 1 3 2. And uh, somebody stepped up to the plate. Our friend Will Greek. Now, what can you say about the boy? Joe Hanks delivering a ball over the top of the whole defense and check out Will Greek's half volley. That was so sweet. And um, that win was one of a few uh, 1 0 wins that we had on the road. Um, we beat Burnley 1 0 and we went on the road, beat. Burnmouth 1-0 at home we beat Leicester 1-0 and then against Spurs yes I decided to play defensive very fluid against a Spurs team and we used the 4 3 one too. and in this match uh, we started out uh, with a goal from Ryan Hardy and another in the 90th minute of injury time Spurs started the match on control flexible ended up playing attacking fluid Swapped to a 4 2 4, and that was it. I don't think it was such a you know, some people might think it was negative. Actually, I don't think so because uh, look at this, look at it this way 75% of our shots were on target. Brilliant. Two of them clear cut chances. That's what we need in the game. We just need really good chances. And amazingly, 905 passes were played by us in the game. We completely ruled midfield. In this match, uh, Spurs hardly had a chance to move the ball into midfield. We spent only 8% of the time in Spurs' uh, final third. They had spent 14% in our third, but really, uh, 7 out of 15 shots on target, translating to about 50%, our 75%, a lot better than theirs. We won that match 2-1 and we didn't even make a substitution in that match. Ryan Hardy finally scoring some goals for the club. Setting us sweetly for the match against Olympiacos. So yes, we have made a few signings. Um, as you know, I am i don't have enough homegrown players for Europe. So <laughs> yeah, we're always going to have that problem. We're always going to go a bit understaffed uh, for these matches. And um, I also signed this player, Papa Luo Nendaya. Yes, I don't even know whether that's the right way to pronounce his name. So I'm just going to call him Papa. It's not bad, you know, 32 years old. Look at him pretty nice attributes may not be the leader may not have everything going for him in terms of position definitely a short ass but yeah what's there to complain about who knows he might be able to cover a lot of ground as the cm on d and he's gonna give uh, colado now i can start giving colado a bit of a break for some of these matches but for the match uh to olympiacos guess who's playing Colado will get to play. So we're going to have Olmedo, Colado, Luis Me. Yes, you're staring at my 4 3 1 2. Can you see it? Yes, we're going to go to the 4 3 1 2 this time around. I love my 4 3 1 2. Joe Hanks, again, am I going to rest Joe Hanks? Wow. These are big, big choices, big, big decisions that I need to make. No, Joe Hanks will be playing as a deep line uh, playmaker on support from this position. Olmedo will be on the right. Colado will be in the middle. We're going to have wing backs going down the flanks. Up front, we'll have uh, the likes of uh, Greg, McNulty, and Hardy. Um, unfortunately for us, uh, my first choice strikers, uh, Butenko, is injured, so he won't be available for quite a while. Three more weeks to go. As far as the uh, goalkeeping situation is concerned, I made one huge boo-boo. Right? I signed a goalkeeper. Yes, I did. I managed to find a goalkeeper who would join our club. Unfortunately for him, me being the doofus manager, I forgot to register him. But I can't register him for Europe. You know, I had to choose between Papa and the extra goalkeeper. So I was thinking, ah, hell, let's see how far we can go playing with Sam Johnson and... Jack Ruddy as the second choice keeper. So yes, we're going to go defensive very fluid. Will this mean that we are going to be handbag in our own half? Not really. It just means that when you're playing on defensive, it just means that you're very calculative about your transitions. You probably will end up being compact, harder to break down. And when you do get your chances, you're going to be um, quite interesting. It'll be quite interesting. We'll probably be able to create chances that are, that aren't half bad. 
and here we go to the classic we're at the stadium you can see the fireworks are going off in olympiacos i'm into this whole immersion thing i'm imagining that all the fireworks are going off the fans are going crazy they know that they're going to be able to hammer this small little english club i've never wow we're in the knockout rounds of the Europa Cup. We've come this far, all made to Mamija, and we've gone to a commercial highlight. All right, latest event updates are not necessary anymore. So we'll just go to overview. That'll be good enough. And immediately, I see number 10. Then number 10 is injured. So this is good news. Mamija to Hanks. Hanks shoots. Ospinia makes the save. And I am thinking immediately of launching one of my wing bags into attack. But I want to be very patient with this. We are away from home. We shall not uh, endeavor to overcommit against an Olympiacos team that's playing a defensive 4 2 3 1. Colado with the ball. Back to Lurero. Hanks again. Looks around, finds Will Grieg. Ja Joe Hanks. And he's brought down. It's uh, fairly early into the game. And Gloucester City have already had one shot on target. Olympia goes into the box and a great opportunity for them to get off on to get a good start. The boys have defended really well. McNulty with the ball puts it out for Olmedo. Olmedo goes charging down the flanks. He has options in the box. He tries to get the cross in, but it's blocked. We have a corner. Joe Hanks takes this. It'll be an outswinging corner. As you can see, we have spent a lot of time in the half. 22%, 23% of our possession has been in the half. Real great. Can't take the shot. All made from outside, forcing Ospinia into another save. Yeah, so defensive, very fluid. Nah. Hanks in another corner, Olmedo. And uh, this is going to be. Take your own sweet time, Amija. Yeah, right. You have been brought to Greece. Please play with a bit more urgency in your game oh shit i'm sorry i'm playing defensive very fluid there's very little urgency there very calculative mamija out wide crossing it to hanks hanks can't line up the shot plays it back to colado colado again to mamija they stretch the team but mamija's cross leaves a lot to be desired okay um i definitely need to lose some weight here because i'm not feeling so comfortable doing this condori to Rene Adelaide, Adelaide, wow, Fortunis to M. Martins to Beto De Silva, uh, Olympiacos working the ball very well down the flanks and it's inside the box. First real attack of the game from Olympiacos, not testing the keeper, not testing the woodwork and definitely testing the ball boy. Our goal, we're going to be showing the home and the away leg in this show. We're not here to to score lots of goals. We're here to be frustrating and to play at our frustrating best. Olmedo, Olmedo to Hanks. Hanks looks for options. You can see Mamija out on the flank. What a ball. Crossing it in. Ken McNulty has fired us into the lead. Will Griggs' attempt could only be parried by the keeper into the path of McNulty. He makes absolutely no mistake. Mamija, look at this. Will Greek was in the right spot at the right time. McNulty said, thank you very much, Mr. Will Greek. I'll just take this goal and we're off. Beto de Silva goes down the flanks. And look at Colado. Ooh, I love this boy. McNulty out for Hardy. Ryan Hardy is true. Shoots. My word, Ryan Hardy, I finally got a name right. I was, I, start, I was calling him Joe Hardy when I first started using him. I mean, I was Joe Hardy here, Joe Hardy there, Joe Hardy. I don't even know my own players. Taylor Moore, back to Lurero. Now to Kone, he's back in the team. Louis says, hey, why did you, what a pass from Louis under no pressure at all. Will Greek to Olmedo. Olmedo says, hmm, what am I going to do with this ball? Plays it back to Joe Hanks. You're the playmaker. Do something with this shit. Kone comes back, picks up the pieces, back to McNulty, out to Will Greek. Will Greek plays it to Olmedo. Olmedo takes his time, turns around and takes too much. You now, that was showed too much of the ball to Condori, who's obviously pissed off at the moment. Alvarez Balanta to Rene Adelaide. Seriously, were you born in Adelaide? Is that why your name is Rene Adelaide? Oh, God. 39 minutes, 40 minutes in. Mamija with the free kick. Plays it short to Hanks. Hanks sees McNulty. McNulty goes round. Um, crosses the ball to the 
defender Louis takes a shot. They have to clear the ball all the way to Rene Adelaide. And this will be our defender's ball. Mamija doing so well to come back. Plays it back to Sam Johnson. Sam Johnson plays a simple pass to Louis, to Kone, to Hanks, to Greek, to Almedo. Out to Ryan Hardy. Ryan Hardy takes it down. Don't spoil the, the momentum, Ryan. And he scores! What a move! 2 0, Gloucester. Did you see that goal? One touch passing in midfield, and then Hardy is off. Look, it jinx past one player. I thought, you know, he's not going to score, and he does. Ryan Hardy has got his confidence back, and he's now scored three goals in two games. It's now snowing. They've just changed the ball. Can you see? It's an orange ball now, Ospina. Even I am having problems spotting this. This is not good. Ah, I love this. I love this. Keep it going, lads. It's only 2 0. Fortunis to Rene Adelaide. I'm still getting over that name. I mean, it's not as bad as Valerie or Vivian McNulty to Hanks. Joe Hanks flies to. If that had come off, I would have been jumping off my chair because it is the perfect playmaker's pass into space for Joe Hardy because Joe Hardy is uh so, I done it again his name is Ryan Hardy I really have to pay attention to my own players if that ball had been played into space or Ryan Hardy that would be perfect this is I mean this is the way you use your poacher in games I've seen a lot of people struggle with the poacher but I love the poacher really just play pass into space make sure you have space yeah, right. So you could be playing defensive, very fluid, and you you know like you're looking like this, right? And you just your players are actually quite far up the pitch, and then your players do exactly that. That's called pass into space. You've got a poacher. If now the thing about the poacher is you also want a poacher to have good first touch, ex acceleration, dribbling, so that when he gets the ball, he actually does something with the ball. The problem right now for us is obviously the weather is they're gonna. A turn for the worst. Worse. My words are getting you know, stuck in my tongue. Um, the weather is going to turn for the worst. And uh, it will affect the way the uh, the players first touch. But, oh. Olympiacos have now changed it to a 4-2-3-1. That doesn't play with deep defensive midfielders. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Louis to Halen. Halen into space. Hank says, thank you very much. Olmedo. Plays it back to Hanks. Hanks to Greek. McNulty into tries. Yes, into space. Hardy's first touch. Letting him down again. Man, oh, man, oh, my, oh. Rene Adelaide. All right. Uh, 69 minutes, 70 minutes. We are going to probably, we are probably going to make a change. But it's a bit early. So let, let them play. Let them have some fun. I know what to do. Make substitution. Correct. Ryan Hardy, thank you for the goal. I want you... No. Hmm, I can't do that. Joe Hanks, push him to Will Griggs' position. And uh, Will Griggs will move to McNulty's position. And McNulty will give way to Luis Simi. Ah, that sounds about right. I don't know what I've done. You know, I hope it works. Johnston to Kone. Kone... Looks around, finds Olmedo. Olmedo to Hanks. Hanks into space for Ryan Hardy. Ryan Hardy still, you know, that, that is Ryan Hardy's acceleration. Not doing wonders for him. Like McNulty to Greek. Greek now to Hardy. Hardy's been receiving a lot of half-decent passes. The only reason why he hasn't broken behind the defensive line as a poacher is only because his acceleration and his first touch leave something to be desired. Fortune is to Kuro. Kuro says, get to this, somebody. Salvi 3 scores. Olympia goes and pull one back. A bit disappointed. But I can't say this was uh, not going to happen. Yeah, it's a bit bit unfortunate for us. More missed the header. Arthur Worry is a miss, I guess. You know, he's got great jumping reach. Having him in the defense helps sometimes. And uh, Olympiacos look like they've changed a bit of the way they're uh, something in the way that they're playing. Olmedo to Luis Simo. Luis Simo goes into the box. Luis Simo looks around, gets it to Hardy. Hardy shoots, and the keeper says, Mr. Ryan Hardy, that wasn't good enough. Ospina, long kick up. 
plays it back to Adelaide. Collado picks up the interception. Olmedo now. Olmedo to Joe Hanks. Joe Hanks now playing a slightly further up. Luis Simo to Will Grieg. Will Grieg turns one of the players. Plays it to Luis Simo. Luis Simo is still holding on the ball. Joe Hanks into the path of Ryan Hardy. Ryan Hardy shoots again. Keepers forced into another save. Joe Hanks now with the corner. What can he do with this? Can he put it onto the head of somebody special? Uh, nope. He did it into the hands of somebody special. Ospina says thank you very much. All right. Will Greg <laughs> looking at you. We're going to have to make one more substitution. This is a time-wasting substitution. Artovery will come on for uh, Goncalo Louis. Yes. I'm going to put a tall player into the box now. Hanks, more Kuro, back to Alacron, Alvarez, Benit, Rene Hardy, and Rene Adelheid. Rene Hardy, did I just say that? <laughs> what a match. Gloucester City traveling away from home to Olympiacos. We have beaten the favorites of this match. We have played really well, and I'm not surprised at our heat map. Just watch our heat map. This is Olympiacos heat map. This is the heat map for Gloucester City. Oh, what a heat map this turned out to be. It's like evil fish. <laughs> so this the head of the fish. Yep, and our tail. We've done very well in this match. As our match stats, 57% possession, uh, 660 passes. I think the most I've done is like 900 passes. Uh, all right, Gloucester City have won this match and we are through now all you have to do is get ready for the second leg. It's time for round two. Gloucester City versus Olympiacos. We've already beaten them 2-1 away from home. And can we do it again? Uh, this time, I'm going to ask Papa to play the game, you know. Uh, let's uh, tell uh, Mr. Olmedo to take, uh, have a rest. So, and the Papa will play <laughs> as a CM on support, right? I'm going to call him Papa because I don't know. Well, how it, how you pronounce this? Endia, Endai? Endiai? I don't know. So, I'm just going to call him Papa. So, this is probably the reason why his name is Papa. Anyway, I don't really care. Uh, so, here we go. Kone, Mamija. I am a bit concerned about some of my other players but as you can see Andy Cannon can't play I can't bring quite a number of my players uh, to Europe and this is basically my European squad that's it any one of these guys gets a long term injury we can kiss our European hopes goodbye alright McNulty Hardy Grieg are going to be up front uh, maybe I'll do something Griffin yeah I'll, I'll pop Hanks there since I'm feeling a bit itchy uh, I want to. I really want to play all of them in one match. Olmedo. Then I get Ndai to play here. Olmedo to be in the right. Colado. So we've got a fairly solid uh, midfield play, uh, group going there. As finally they are saying they're gonna lose. But we got, guess what? We're also playing defensive fluid. Uh, we just want to see how this match turns out because they they should be attacking us but oh, see, look at that they're probably playing standard flexible for two three one so we'll see how this match pans out louis to papa papa plays it to olmedo olmedo out wide to will green and that's uh, the first commercial highlight of the day joe hanks to olmedo olmedo or oh, he loses the ball to fortunis salvatierra to Rene Adelaide. Rene Adelaide looks for options. He has a runner on the flanks. And Salvatiere gets into the box. Mo says, thank you very much. You left the ball behind. Um, Mila <laughs> yes, uh, they almost uh, got a good chance there. Chance falling to one of their players. Uh, now Taylor Moore with the ball. Plays it to Colado. Colado out to Mamija. Mamija. Well, he's going to take his time. Plays to Almero. Hanks. Olmedo now to NDI. Hey, I got his name right. Hardy says, ah, shit. I was about to say Hardy says thank you for the goal, but damn, it didn't work, did it? Well, Hardy, I have the option of dropping Mr. Will Greek into that slot if you're not going to do that well. All right, we'll get Will Greek to try stuff out instead. So Will Greek will now play as the poacher. 
Here we go, Joe Hanks with a free kick inside the box. They clear the danger, but Joe Hanks uh, has another chance to do something with the ball. More, eh, oh, no. That was pinball action going on. That's my sound effects of the ball hitting everywhere. I uh, didn't get in. My Mija with the throw, plays it to Almedo. Almedo goes, hmm, what am I going to do with this ball? Gives it to Colado. Colado, eh, oh, wow. That passage of play was kind of cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't really tell what was happening. All I saw was the goalkeeper saving the ball. I'm just having fun because I've been playing on 4 one 3 2 for such a long time that I don't really see a lot of my flank attacks. I don't really see a lot of uh, final third penetration and, you know, th those kind of attacks. So I'm kind of having fun with the 4 3 one 2 which is uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not very different from a 4 4 2 diamond. So it's easy for us to switch between the 4 3 one 2 and the 4 4 2 diamond if we need to. Um, I could easily swap the and. Uh, I just want this uh, Olympiacos to keep attacking us and giving us space for our poachers to take advantage of. Johnston, long boot up. Hardy wins the header and Diai plays it to Hanks. Hanks gives it to Olmedo. Olmedo looks around, hmm, decides against the direct pass. Mamija now, he plays the beautiful pass to Will Creek. Will Creek's in the box, crosses it. And Ryan Hardy scores. What a start from Gloucester City. Now, I love this. This is what I love about passing to space. And uh, poachers. See, my, one of my favorite roles is actually the poacher. I hardly ever use poachers because, I mean, I, I figured it's like one of those roles that are pretty straightforward in the game. But I've noticed a lot of people, I've, I've, I've did some research for the FM guide I'm writing that's going to be released. And I was looking at uh, DLFs, I was looking at poachers, I was looking at all these roles that people don't really use, even the Trequatista. Uh, they're kind of fun to use if you have a system that is, uh, and you choose the right players for it. They, they're a lot of fun. I really enjoy poachers. Poachers are kind of devastating. Joe Hanks corner into the box. Will Greek picks it up, gives it back to Joe Hanks. Joe Hanks says thank you. I'll cross it again. Olmedo, his header, ah, doesn't do much. One nil up. Why not? We can rotate our players. Ooh, saved off the line. Cleared. More with the free kick. Why is he taking free kicks again? I've not bothered to check my set piece takers. Look at this. This is the story of the match. Okay. Uh, what do we do? Do I bring on another player? Armando Di Blasio. I'm very keen on giving them some match time. And this is a youngster that I'm grooming. So he's going to get a chance to play. We'll tell uh, Papa Alione and Diaye. Oh, in fact, in fact, I'm not going to do that. He'll step up and take over Joe Hanks. Joe Hanks is going to be given a break. He's been playing a lot. And I do not want to lose Joe Hanks to injury. That's a major, it's going to give me a major headache if we do. And uh, there's no chance on hell, <laughs> in no chance I'm going to let that happen. So here we go, Rene Adelaide, and they've gone to attacking 4-2-3-1 as I would expect them to do. And uh, we've taken Joe Hanks off. And it's a big risk because Joe Hanks is such an important part of how we play. Uh, but I'm, I want to rest the boy. Papa. Picks up the ball, holds up the ball, and ooh, still holds on to the ball. Plays it back to the keeper. That look almost like a suicidal back pass. I'm hoping Papa and Leon and Diaye does well. Oh, that's a fun name. I mean, once you get the hang of saying his name, it's kind of fun. Papa Leon and Diaye. Right. I'm not trying to make fun of names here. It's just that sometimes with all these names that you have to pronounce on the show, if, excuse me if some any of you take offense, but I'm just having some fun. And no offense intended. I'm not trying to insult people's names. Uh, I'm just like no, tr trying to make pixels on the screen look a bit more entertaining. <laughs> okay, Ryan Hardy with a shot. Ooh, smashing that. Uh, the keeper is just going, oh, where, what, Ooh, where? Well, Gloucester City are doing a professional job here. They've done it. Beating Olympiacos 3-1 on the aggregate. Uh, I'm happy. I didn't, I didn't even have to come out and attack them this match. Or go on to an attacking mentality. There was really no need to. The boys completely dominated the home uh, leg of the match. 649 passes attempted in the match in total. That's a huge amount. Uh, but still, again, I've, I've seen higher. 
As you can see, this is the heat map for both the teams. Let's look at Gloucester again. Once more, total domination of the final third. Olympiacos, well, we gave them this flank. <laughs> Once more, not the flank here. Oh boy, Gloucester City's uh, key pass combination was is pr probably also going to look kind of interesting. There you go. This is us. Passes completed. 541 passes completed. And you can see the majority are in this region here in the final third. Well, the next time somebody comes up to you and says defensive, very fluid systems. You're going to be stuck in your own half and you can't come on and attack. The next time somebody says that, you point them to these videos. Yeah. I've been playing defensive fluid, very fluid for the last seven matches and I've won all of them. And we were not capped in our own half. In fact, we can completely control the golden zone of the AI. It all depends on your roles and duties, your players, your 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 basically your shouts and how you set your team up. That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Gloucester City Diary Saves. Yes, uh, and um, yeah, before I go, there is one question that somebody asked me, one of the subscribers. How long do I intend to go with this save? That's a very good question. I don't know. Can they become as big as Real Madrid? Will they be as reputable as Juventus? Uh, can I get big name signings to come to the club? Finally, can I actually move out from a 12,000 seater stadium and into something that looks like a 71,000 seater stadium? Well, I'm going to try and get as many saves done. So we can see that. I can't wait. Well, thanks for watching the show. Please subscribe to the show if you've enjoyed the show. And drop me a question uh, you can always drop me questions you know i i will definitely help anybody who needs help just look me look out for me on twitter at bustanet or addicted to fm.com that's my website once again thank you for supporting the show to all my patrons we have lots of exclusive videos that i hope you've enjoyed watching and until we meet again you have a good one Bye bye